And on this election eve, a high-stakes battle, a court battle over whether nearly two dozen counties can use troubled election software. Late this afternoon, a judge weighed in, saying counties can use that software for tomorrow's vote. WRAS Catherine Brown was in the courtroom today, joins us now live from the State Board of Elections, with what all of this means for those of us who plan to vote tomorrow. Catherine. Well, David, I can tell you this is not over yet. The Board of Elections just filed an emergency appeal, hoping for another decision tonight, hoping for a decision uh, that goes their way. Now, as for you, what it means when you go to the ballot box, well, you may notice the use of EVID software as you check in. Counties now have the go-ahead to use this type of software if they want to, despite the state's concerns that it is untested and not certified. 21 counties in North Carolina now have the green light to use the polling software eVid to check in voters at precincts for Tuesday's election. eVid is not used to tabulate votes, but came under fire after last year's presidential election when a glitch in using the software caused serious delays at precincts in Durham and sparked questions over whether eVid was ever officially certified in North Carolina. This particular version of VR system software has never been tested for any election uh, in North Carolina. In the wake of a chaotic election day, Board of Elections officials encouraged counties to make alternate plans for future elections. Many counties, including Durham, did just that, moving on to other software or even to paper poll books. But the company that makes eVid says its software was certified by the state all along and calls the state's attempt to block its use a costly breach of contract. A judge agreed. Counties who are clients are welcome to use it. Um, and I think that the, I think that there are plans from some of those counties. I don't know which ones specifically. Board of Elections officials say the case centers on the fundamental sacred issue of true elections and worry the case is eroding public confidence in the voting system. So we just want to make sure that we protect the security uh, and integrity of the elections tomorrow. And that is why we have at this late hour uh, are in the process of filing an appeal. Well, this afternoon's ruling marked the second time in four days that a judge has sided with counties' rights to use EVID. As for uh, whether an appeals judge will review that and overturn that tonight, well, that remains to be seen. Polls open at 6.30 a.m. David? Catherine Brown live in Raleigh. Catherine, thank you.